For employers looking for affordable health benefit options, tax savings is a big selling point that makes some plans more attractive than others. A health plan that's free of taxes like payroll or income taxes is called a tax advantage health benefit. One type of tax advantage benefit is a health reimbursement arrangement or HRA. However, in order to get the tax benefits, an HRA must follow certain IRS procedures. In this video, we'll go over four requirements your HRA needs to meet in order for your benefit to be tax free. Number one, an HRA must be 100% employer funded. Unlike a health savings account or HSA, an HRA isn't an account that employees can add their own contributions to. Instead, it's an arrangement where the employer agrees to provide a set dollar amount each month for employees to get reimbursed for their individual health insurance premiums and qualifying medical expenses. Number two, HRA contributions can't be funded through wage deductions. With an HRA, you're offering employees an additional allowance that separate from their usual salary or hourly pay. However, to make things easier, you can certainly pay out HRA reimbursements through payroll and add the funds to an employee's regular paycheck. Just make sure you're not lowering their income in any way to accommodate the HRA. Number three, employees must have minimum essential coverage to get tax-free reimbursements. While employees' coverage doesn't affect an employer's tax savings, employees need to have an insurance plan that meets minimum essential coverage requirements in order for their reimbursements to be free of income tax. Otherwise, their reimbursements will be reported as income at the end of the year and they'll need to pay taxes on it like they would the rest of their income. Check out the link in the description to see which plans qualify as MEC. Keep in mind that if you're offering an individual coverage HRA or ICRA, the plan also needs to meet additional requirements in order for employees to participate. We've got a link in the description for more information on that too. Number four, an HRA must have formal plan documents. To be compliant, HRAs must have formal plan documents that describe how the plan is managed, what expenses are reimbursable, and what documents are required to demonstrate compliance. If you're offering an HRA with PeopleKeep, we take care of all this for you so you can focus on running your business. If an employer doesn't want to set up compliant documents and procedures, another option is to simply give employees a raise or a health insurance stipend instead. However, the organization will pay payroll taxes on this extra money and employees will pay both payroll and income taxes. The tax advantage nature of HRAs makes them a good option for employers that want to offer personalized, flexible health benefits to their employees. However, compliance is key. Without it, employers and their employees can miss out on the tax savings. At PeopleKeep, we help thousands of organizations offer compliant plans every day, and we'd love to help you too. Tap below to subscribe and get more health benefit updates like this. If you're interested in an HRA for your organization, visit peoplekeep.com to learn how we can help you get started.